Hello everybody, Steve Griffiths here, developer of the MT Predictor software program. In today's MT Predictor video, I'd like to follow up on a market we were looking at a while ago in our customer only training webinar, the US dollar, Canadian dollar. I'd also look at, like to look at another setup that's unfolded on that um, cross rate recently as well. But as usual, we have to start with our risk disclaimer and remind you that all examples in these videos should be considered as hypothetical. No trades are actually taken. They're just shown for illustration and trading purposes only. Remind you there's a risk of loss in trading and investing. Or put another way, all professional traders know and understand that losses can and will and do unfold. It doesn't matter what trading approach you take, there always can and will be losing trades. The trick is keeping those trades small, those, those losses small. Right, let's have a look at this particular chart. This is a daily chart of the US dollar, Canadian dollar. For those of you who have been following MT Predictor for a while, we know that we're not a black box system where we blindly take all our trade setups because we understand that markets are random about half the time. So we're looking for times when the market picture is clear. In other words, the, the picture is clear. For this, we go to our higher time frame charts. So this is our higher time frame, the daily chart. I'm just going to use our trading mode and go back to before that last recent high there. So what we do to deem whether the picture is clear or not is we place DPs on our chart. These are decision point levels from previous highs and lows. So I'll right mouse click. I'll do decision point. Can you see that gave you an area of potential resistance there? I'm just going to use our typical uh, DP level because that's the most common place where reversals happen. So what we're looking for is to see whether the market is going to make a reversal at that level. If I turn training mode off, you can see that's indeed what happened. The market made a reversal at that level before it started to come down. So when you're on a short term chart, in this case, the, or slightly shorter term, the four hourly chart, you're looking for trade setups that unfold in that direction. The setup we were looking at before was this VS cell that came in here at our higher time frame chart. You can see the two came in together. Our MTP trend was red stroke black, so it indicated the large degree trend was making a reversal or in the process of uh, going down. So we right mouse click on this red cell bar, do analysis. This gave our trade setup that we've been looking at. And as you can see, the market has now just reached our typical um, DP target, where a profit of approximately 3.4, just under three and a half times the initial risk was avail available. Remember we use correct position sizing, in this case to keep our risk less than 2% uh, of a sample $20,000 account. The idea being is that when losses come through, and they always will come through, the losses are kept smaller at what we call 1R or 1 risk unit. In this case the profit was just over or just under 3.5 times initial risk, 3.4R. But the trade setup I'd like to look at is this one here. So if you hadn't have taken this trade setup, or perhaps you were looking to pyramid or add to your short positions. Let's have a look at this particular trade setup here. So what would the large degree trend be? Well, there was our resistance, high time frame resistance. Large degree trend was down. Our MTP trend was confirming this as red. Therefore, you'll be avoiding the buy setups and you're looking to be taking this W3 cell. So let's right mouse click over the red cell bar. You can see the market's in the process of um, going with you in this particular case but has still got a little way to go to reach our target. So it'll be interesting to see over the next uh, uh, few days or weeks whether the market does indeed decline down to reach this target. If it does, it will be a nice profit of approximately 7.5R. Why do we like these trade setups? Because the W3 or Wave 3 trade setup is exactly what it says, is that we're looking to trade the Wave 3. In an Elliott Wave sequence, the wave 3 is usually the strongest and longest in the completed 5 wave sequence, therefore, therefore has the largest profit potential. So we're looking to start our count when the market makes a higher time frame um, reversal, which it did there. That's what I uh, mean by when we use our Elliott waves in isolation. In other words, we're only using, when, using them when the picture is clear. We're not putting them on the chart all the time. So that would be the start of the sequence. The initial decline down will be wave one. We're then looking for an ABC correction up into a potential wave two. That then gives us our W3 trade setup. We're then looking to see if we're going to get a wave three decline. If it does unfold like this, well then the profit would be large, not just in dollars, but in relation to the initial risks or losses when the trades go wrong. This is what we're looking for in our W3 or wave three trade setup, trades that has large, pro large profits in relation to a small initial risk. So let's follow this over the, the next uh, few uh, 
days and weeks to see whether the Canadian dollar does indeed reach that particular target. But either way, it's a good example of how we use our higher time frame support and resistance zones to uncover uh, our trade setups on our smaller, smaller time frames. As you can see, there was one off that high that has reached its target there already. Our MTP trend has just gone uh, through our strength band there. So if you were short of this one, you'd be looking to trail with our ATR stop anyway. So hopefully a good example of seeing MT predictor unfolding on a forex example at the market on the US at the moment sorry on the US dollar Canadian dollar